Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Kenshi Our Holy Nation Only playthrough episode 15 with the series. Our group is now well rested and ready to go for today's adventures. Um, I played off camera for a pretty good uh, bit actually. Just getting some stuff done. Um, you can see here I actually set up camp not too far away from the battle site which was up here. Uh, the place still littered with bodies and just weapons and clothing uh, laying around. These guys are mostly disarmed. I've taken most of their weapons. Um, they Every now and again, they decide to try and run down here and fight me, but for the most part, there's not much left of them. And you can see that they've actually, um, I've actually been beating the crap out of their own slaves because without having a bunch of people to guard them, their slaves have been running rampant. Now there's a few more guards in here and that's what we're going to focus on clearing out and capturing to try and recruit. Um, but you might notice we have a nice tidy sum of cats down here and that is because I ran a small group back to the hub to sell all of the goods we had because we just didn't have any space for any more stuff and I wanted to start building up a nice stockpile here. So we went and did that and then this is a few of the things that I've picked up along the way since I've been playing. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and dismantle our little campsite here. I'm hoping we won't need it. Like I said, these guards have been kind of running up here um, from time to time, trying to give us a hard time. But we're uh, a little too good for them. I've actually also cooked all of our meat we had. Uh, we got a very good stockpile of food here, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. All right, so let's head up and start uh, clearing this out, which is definitely the goal for this episode, clear this out and to uh, see what kind of gear we actually have in here. Maybe even try and recruit a few more of you into the uh, into the army. The more I can get, the better. I think we'll start by beating the crap out of this guy and uh, making sure everybody's off hold. I'm sure we're going to get a couple people here. Giving us a hard time, but I'm going to try and make this work. This guy's got a lot of bows in him. Yeah, a lot of these people are remnants of people I've already taken, like, gear and stuff off of. So for the most part, they don't have a whole lot on them. But I'll take some of this stuff just to sell. And I have been looking for things like armor and stuff like that. Just because a lot of our guys need armor, plus we're going to need it for the future people we recruit, so. Uh, and I guess we're fighting slaves now. Oh, no, it's a slaver. Okay. Hard to tell the difference as I pretty much disarmed all of them. Okay, now hold on, guys. Don't, don't, uh. Yeah, fight them out here. Don't, uh. Don't go inside just yet. I'm not ready. Not ready to make that commitment. Looks like they're going to come out to us anyway. And there we go. So we can fight him right here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy off, hopefully. Alara's running over to give me a hand. I love seeing the slaves uh, breaking free. What was that there? Another set of boots. Whatever it takes to get our group equipped. It looks like Dylan's not wearing any, so we'll throw a pair on him. And Brittany, I don't think he's wearing any boots. I know some of these people became slaves at one point. So they uh, lost their boots. There we go. Um, I could take the mercenary plate. I know it's not ideal if I find any standard grade stuff, but at the same time, we're really going to be hurting for armor when we recruit one or two more people. We're all right on weapons, though. Now my group's running off. Ah, yeah, because somebody's shooting them over here. No turrets, right? 
No. Whole group against one. So this is all stuff we are selling. The rest is stuff we're keeping, which I've kind of been trying to put it on Kevin, but he's holding all this extra stuff. I might have to ditch some of this. I hope we get another recruit here and then I can empty some more of this out. We can store some stuff on uh, Black Joker as well. He's not just for holding the stuff we're selling, although I'm trying to keep it that way if I can just so I don't lose track. He's already got a pretty good amount of money worth of crap here. Um, these clubs here are actually worth a pretty good amount, around 400 each. So they're worth ki uh, keeping for that reason. The Traders Leather, maybe not as much, but... All right, another pair of boots. Does anybody not have good boots? Oven's not wearing any boots. There you go, Oven. And I can't seem to get any of these people to join. Why don't we take a look and see who's in here? Ah, yes, my arch ne nemesis. The slaver boss. We might actually try to recruit him. And then we've got two slaver guards. Pretty well equipped. My whole group's coming in here. And Hans is hanging out there with the animals, which is fine. We're going to take this bad boy and throw him in a cage, actually, is what we're going to do. Uh, he's got lots of cats, so we'll take that. It's pretty sweet. We'll take this. Standard grade, styed turban is stuff. The turban's kind of cool. We could take that. I do like the way this looks, but... And the longsword's actually a pretty good weapon. Let's uh, kidnap him and uh, put him in this cage here. We'll put him in one of these cages. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh my god, these cages are full of slaves. Alright, I'll have to let some of these guys out. Alright, my character's trying to medic, so we'll let him do that quick. Okay. Yeah, why don't you, uh, can't pick lock that? Uh oh. Oh, it's Holy Nation. Oh, oh. I want to make sure we're not fighting that group. Nope, just fighting more slavers. Okay, perfect. All right, let me see if I can let some of these guys out again. Okay, I literally let that guy free and he went right back in his cage. Thief? I ain't thiefing anything. Oh crap, we might be in trouble. I might have just pulled the drifters. Alright, well, they usually have pretty good gear if we could take them out. It's going to be tough. I'm going to have to kind of microwave here. We've got Sir Camel fighting somebody now he probably can't handle, so let's get... All of these guys on it. Meanwhile, I'm inside with Wanderer and Alara and such. And we're going after this guy. I th no names in there. Richard is in there. So I think we can handle him. Yeah, well, I think we'll be all right. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let him, let him come to us. All right, and now. Where's my character? Because I'm going to go ahead 
and take these really good weapons off these guys. Wow, plus good armor, so they're not half bad beaten up every now and again. All high grade stuff. I mean, literally all high grade. No joke. Oh, who could we give a nice set of high grade armor? I think the Wanderer might already have high grade. He's got a lot of standard. I don't think Tarsus has much high grade though. Well, it's actually shoddy, so we'll ditch that completely. Then I know Oven's kinda hurting from some decent gear, so we'll throw that for that. Um, that's standard. I'd like to find somebody who doesn't have anything good. Is anybody using a crappy saber? We've got people using crappy weapons. Maybe not crappy sabers. That's a uh, high, high, that's shoddy. All right. And I'd like to save the weapon. And I guess I'll have to save the other stuff on Black Joker, but the stuff I guess we want to save, we'll throw it on here. Actually, it's gotta be somebody who needs a shirt. Hans, I think Brittany needed one. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, specialist. Okay. We'll take that. Hmm. Here you go, Richard, you uh, can take this. It looks good on you since you're a ninja anyways. The um, shoddy grade boots, we'll ditch them for this high grade. So specialist grade heart protector. I don't know who it makes sense to give this to. Oh crap, I should realize, let's see, Sir Campbell didn't have any, oh, he's still got shoddy grade stuff too. Um, Hans is pretty good. All right, let's just store some of this stuff. I know we're gonna be recruiting people. Laura's down, but she's already been help, uh, helped, so she she should be good. Ah, uh, doesn't hurt any kind uh, crossbow or anything like that. If I could prevent from mixing this stuff up. Who else is down, Dylan? And then we got this guy here, high grade. I mean, fighting the drifters isn't bad. I just don't want to fight them too often because I know it does hurt our reputations. Now, hiring the drifters would be nice. I don't think they can be hired though. Because they're technically, um, okay. We'll leave it. They're technically modded into the game. All right, how's my medics doing?
Give these guys some splint rigging. Um, here's some medical supplies for you, scoops, and Richard's not a medic, but why don't we make him one now that we're getting a pretty good amount of people here. He can start working on his medical stuff. I'm gonna try to recruit some people here, but that means I need to make some cages available, which I haven't really been able to do. Damn, another guy. All right, we've pretty much filled everything up. Not a whole lot I can do now. Other than try and recruit somebody. I can't seem to put this guy in that cage. A lot of these guys don't seem to be interested in being let free. Is there more cages inside? There is, and those ones are empty. <sighs> okay. Let's try real quickly, just so I can see. These, these wanderers are pretty good. So, maybe we try recruiting one of them. The slavers, not so much. Oh crap, we got more slavers in here, all right. Well, I guess we're in here now, dealing with this. Come on, oven. There's probably some pretty good stuff in here. Ooh, training dummies. Do we have any beds? We've got more cages. That's about it. Oh, and another Holy Nation. Wow, a really good one, too. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Nope, Tarsus don't go anywhere. It's going to take everybody we've got. This guy's good. We've got to be better. Oh, even Kevin's in here. I don't know how he got in here. Let's let him have it, though. Han's taking a few shots off. Archangel getting in. Ah, oh, we've got him. Okay, I know this guy is pretty well geared. He's got specialist grade stuff. Swappy swap. All right, let's let's actually kidnap this guy and try this. We'll have to take his weapon, of course. And he's unconscious. Why don't we have Richard come practice his first aid? I'm gonna head, actually, let's see. I got a splint kit here and a standard first aid kit. So I'm gonna grab that and trade it with Richard. What the hell? There we go. Now, like I said, I don't think I can recruit the drifters, but we'll try. I know there is some people that can be recruited though. The slavers, that slaver is actually really, he's really good. So I'm gonna kidnap him. And put him in this cage. And he can't be looted. We'll go ahead and first aid him. We can't. Well, let's talk to him. You look like you're not doing too bad for yourselves. We're not poor, if that's what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. You got money and I'm the best sword you'll likely meet. The best sword? That's a pretty big call. Straight down to business then. Of course, life is one transaction after another. All that matters is the price. Okay, and what's your price? For you, a special 20,000. 20,000. He's 
Good. He's good. I don't know if he's 20,000 good. I feel like there's better. Yeah, so I don't think that I can actually recruit this guy. No biggie. Oh, Kevin, you're chocked full. Chock full of gear. Just full of... Full of gear. Okay, and I know our other friend here is just as bad. Where did you get this? That's a pretty impressive weapon. That looks like no name's weapon. It's because it... It is no name's weapon. <laughs> and the long sword. The hell no name. Keep track of your stuff. We'll just let some basic commoner do that like do you wrong like that okay so the slaver he wants 20,000 we've got this guy here he's probably not recruitable uh we've got that girl she's dead Nara's eating a body over here um that's another drifter I believe the drifters don't appear to be recruitable. Uh, we've got more up here we can deal with. I don't see another slave boss here though. We could try the regular slavers, the slaver, um, whatever this guy is, the slaver guard. They're pretty good as well. And uh, not 20,000 cats, I hope. Actually, the slaver boss would be really good if I can get him. Let's uh, first aid the slaver boss to see what we get. We'll actually take all of his cats. He's got a pretty good amount of them. He can keep his pants though. <laughs> but we'll have to take the long sword if he's gonna talk to us. And Dylan, why don't you uh, go ahead and kidnap this guy. Put him in this cage. What do we got here? I put this guy here. Okay. Oh, so he could be talked to already. What about the boss? Is he up yet? Still unconscious. All right, let's try this guy. So Dylan, you go ahead and talk to him. So is it going to be 20,000? Yeah, 20,000. So if the slaver boss is 20,000, then he would be worth paying the money for. But now I don't know about the other ones. We should have two slaver boss. So why don't we go find the other one quick while we're waiting. And Alar is just out here sleeping, which I guess is fine. <laughs> She's been out here for a bit. Oh, she's up now. Good. Ah, there, there he is. Yeah, he's got pretty good skills. I'd pay 20,000 for him or the other. Yeah, actually, look at his hair. His hair is pretty neat. Actually, we may not even get this guy. I only got 27,000. I can't get both of them.
Come on, Black Joker. All right, let's talk to this guy. 20,000, all right, so let's buy this one. Hold on one second, I gotta get my uh, list up. Game's gonna spin in a circle here for a second. I hope none of you, uh, none of you get sick. I'm looking for a name. Got it. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's near the top. All right. So, um, okay. So we'll buy you for 20,000. Pretty expensive, but you're a fairly good character. Ah, uh, female too. So we've got Daenerys in the game. Welcome, Daenerys. You actually wanted a slaver. Um, so finally, we got you in. Really? I mean, good. A wise choice. Whatever. Get out of there. I could trade with you. Oh. Oh, duh. Okay. Set you free, Daenerys. There you go. And let's take a look at your stats, actually. Yeah, pretty good. You're pretty pretty tough character. Yeah, if I had 20,000, I definitely would recruit the other one. But we don't have it. We've almost got, we've almost got it. All right. We'll get uh, Daenerys here equipped with some pretty sweet gear. We'll give you your longsword back and we'll give you a saber. It's about all I think is going to work for you. Here's some medical supplies as well. I actually wouldn't mind you being a medic. So we'll put you in the front so you can do that. All my medics I always put in the front so I don't lose track of them. All right, and no money to recruit anybody else right now. Now, what are we, like, how are we on, say, supplies? Denarius actually could use some rest. In fact, why don't we just get the rest of the group, just get the whole group in here for a second. Because I know there's some people that need a rest. Now, Tarsus is hurt in. I throw no name in a bed, Sir Camo, Denarius, Wanderer's pretty good though, Richard, and Lara. I know she passed out earlier, so she could do, use a little bit of rest. And if I was right, there's beds in here. Now, can these be used? Damn. That would have been great. All right. So we've used all the beds we can use. No problem. Let's take a look and see what we've got for um, weapons and such, maybe, if anything. I know my long cleaver ended up here someplace. But probably in the outside one. I don't think it made it in here. Okay, so this is empty. I figure most of these probably will be. I don't think we're going to get as lucky as we got last time. Where it just seemed like it was gear after gear. Got a few things here, though, worth selling. Uh, not, the, not that, though. Okay, not bad. Uh, mercenary plate and no faction, which is always a bonus. When we can get it. Saki's good. And whenever we can get food. All right, so that's that. I don't think Kevin's got any room. He could probably fit the food. Can't fit the bread though. I should make sure everybody still got weapons. I had a lot of people I was checking earlier. Ah, see, like Alara's lost her spear. I had a lot of people earlier I was checking and I realized they had, ah, Brittany lost her, um, 
her uh, toothpick. Yeah, a ton of people who've lost weapons, so. Gotta be a better way. Tons of stuff that needs to be sold or used. Um, toothpick. Either somebody picked it up or it's around here. Let me let me check out here. Let's see. Heart protector, the mercenary plate. Um, if they stole it off of her, they would have put it in here. Aha. And a couple weapons they took. Actually, pretty nice katana. A Oh, that's... Wow, that's actually pretty good. A nice sword. There is Alara's <clears throat> spear, I believe. All right, I'll have to come back for that. That looks like it's everything except for maybe anything that might be up here, which is nothing and nothing. Okay, perfect. So I just got to get a large spear and such. And we've got uh, Brittany's bow. I've got to get both of their bows changed out for a, a standard bow instead of the shoddy. So we're going to do that when I go to sell all this stuff. And then the other big thing would be um, I would like to get another person actually wielding and using bows. So that would be good as well. Do we have any pants? Okay, so we've got the high grade that's high, that's standard. So I want to know if we could change these pants out for something. Yeah, Hans is rocking lower gear too. All right, let me finish looting. Oh, actually, nothing in here. Okay. And these will train you up to max skill level 15. That's actually not half bad. I think most of our group's pretty good off, though. Probably don't need that. A robo pack. It's valuable. I'd like to take it just because of that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Never did find my hacker, which is odd. And I got to remember to grab Alara's. Um, gotta grab a Lara's uh, spear. Where is Alara? She's sleeping. Come on, Alara. Let's get your spear. Uh, there we go. Guess we could have some of these guys carry stuff. None of that's any good.
And who else has backpacks? I thought I gave Wanderer one. He does, okay. I know Tarsus has a backpack. So he can carry a couple pieces of food on him. And the rum for selling purposes. And that was everything. So not a whole lot in this uh, area. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get ready to move. I guess we got to take all of this back. Is there anybody else I want to kidnap? I don't think so. We could get the other boss recruited if we wanted to. We'd have to kidnap him. We'd have to sell this stuff and then throw him in another cage. Um, but that would be really difficult to do since nobody healed him, so he is dead. <laughs> so that ain't going to happen. But guess what? That's another slave outpost cleared out, guys. That's a big group of starving bandits. Holy crap. And we find ourselves pretty close to Narcos Trap. So why don't we go head up to Narcos tra Trap anyways, since this is, this is a one area that's been on our mind for a while now, and we can kind of take a look and see what's going on up here. I'm certainly curious. Got a Holy Nation trading caravan. And a holy mine ruin, okay. And then we gotta at some point find a place to sell all of our new goodies. All right, and for some strange reason, the game crashed on me. Um, <laughs> as soon as I got close to Narcos Trap, that's a bad omen, a bad omen, I'm telling you, but we're finally here. Um, the uh, acid rain is burning us a bit. We almost got struck by lightning. Let's move in this way. There we go. Everybody's uh, slowly dying. So I guess we better leave. I don't remember Narco's Trap having burning acid, but I guess it did. Um, yeah, so we're here at Narco's Trap, and we are trying to figure out what's went on here because obviously it was abandoned and destroyed. The skeletons uh, took it out uh, way back during the Skeleton Wars, and we had skin bandits actually come out of here. They seem to have come out of here anyway, which was fairly odd but I say for the most part it looks pretty normal mechanical spider in the distance I wouldn't mind uh, going through that tower why don't I see if I can run up real quick actually let me do something so the nice thing about the game crashing was that um, autosave, thank God, but it was a few minutes earlier and I actually noticed that the slaver boss was still alive, so I got a redo there. So I healed him up and I'm currently carrying him. But I'll uh, put him down and have uh, Tarsus pick him up as soon as he come, actually comes down. Because we're going to recruit that guy as soon as we get 20,000 to do it, which I think we've got 20,000 worth of stuff anyway. So we should be able to. I can actually pick lock this. So I'm going to pick lock this and see what's in Narcos Trap. How are these guys uh, not burning to death? Do not know. Oh, it doesn't seem to be acid over here. So that's good. Elite Hunter Assault. What the hell is that? And how close is it? I'm assuming that is a... 
I don't know what that is. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. All right, what do we got? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, these guys literally just... Holy crap, these guys came out of here. Oh, my God. Holy crap, Narcos Trap has skin bandits. This is... This is horrible. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so good I did not open those doors. I had no idea. How did this happen? Oh, it must have been the skeletons when they came to Narcos Trap and opened up whatever was in uh, Narcos Evil tower, uh, tower here. Obviously, it didn't sit well with some of the skeletons. Jesus. They all wear uh, blunt weapons as well and pretty pretty good blunt weapons wow so these buildings have did i did i let these guys out by unlocking the door should i have kept the door locked this isn't part of the raid right it doesn't appear to be i don't even that raid must be upcoming i think by unlocking that door i literally let these guys out Maybe I should have kept that locked. I guess... I guess I'm just happy that that happened like it did. Um, I can't even imagine what would have happened if we had gotten... If we had opened one of those doors and I had no idea what was behind it. Boy, what are the chances we can clear something like this out? Whew. Okay. Well, we let them free. I don't know where they're going, but they're they're off. I literally don't think there's anything that can stop that. Oh, I'm so tempted though. I, my curiosity, I just want to look and see what else is up here. Obviously, they must be inside these buildings. What about this one? See, that building's empty. But we saw them. We saw them definitely come out of here. Another empty building. What the heck? Oh. Is there any of them? It adds even more mystery. Maybe that one group that just left was is the is just a small group of uh skeleton skin bandits. They must have a camp here, but it's not like a gigantic group of them. Old iron spider walking through. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. We don't have a whole lot to deal with, but we still got a wandering group of skeletons. And honestly, it's probably the same exact group that originally had raided us in the past. Wandering about. Boy, where are they going? Awfully far from home. What if they run into a patrol or something? I'd love nothing more than to see them get wiped. Maybe they'll leave us alone if they do. Um, a Holy Nation caravan, United Cities patrols, pretty much anything. Anything with uh, flesh would be great. I actually have to wait a second because they're 
They're in the same direction I need to head. Yeah, I kind of feel like I maybe let them loose and it makes me somewhat concerned because now I got to always worry about bumping into them. Oh my God, they're heading towards that. Holy nation ruin or the holy mind ruin. All right, yeah, we're going to totally leave that alone. I don't see them running into a group of anything for a while. Might have some stuff there at the ruin, but I think our best bet at this point is going to be to head back to the hub, sell off all of our goods. It's another holy mine cleared out. We're getting stronger and stronger. We got to figure out where we're going to eventually clear for our next area. I'm not sure we're quite ready yet to do something like maybe take on Sheck or something. I think we're going to have to head down to the hub and the rebel base. We're going to have to, um, actually what we need to do is head back down to our home. So we should probably be heading to this crossroad. What is that? Okay, just a group of drifters. Yeah, heading to the crossroads here. We can head to our base, uh, drop some food off for Ia here, and also drop a couple of our science books off. Uh, I think we have a rare opportunity here. We could start setting up our base. Actually, probably in the next episode, we can start setting it up. We'll send Black Joker back with a group to sell off a bunch of the things that we had acquired. And then we will be all set and ready to also recruit a few more people. In fact, we could actually probably pick somebody up now. Um, we'll see anybody here, all level ones. We are gonna need more people for home base. Um, somebody who can be like a builder actually would be great. Let's see what we can grab. Um, about this guy. Um, a bit of manual labor. Yeah, okay. An engineer. Okay, 6,000. We've got it. Let's, uh, we need 20,000 to recruit that one guy though, but I think we probably have enough. So let's get this guy here. We need a builder. Do I have anybody that wanted a builder? Who am I just putting somebody in? Oh, actually I did, um, Eric, okay. There we go. So welcome Eric to the group. You're gonna be our builder. And we'll actually, you'll follow us. <clears throat> yeah, engineer 15, laboring 30, pretty good. So you'll uh, head back with us, but eventually we will. We'll attach you to the home squad here. All right, so with that being said, we'll leave it off here. Busy episode in the next one, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. I wanna thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.